The Eat Local movement is growing throughout Maine and the UMaine Cooperative Extension will be holding its annual Backyard Locavore Day on Saturday, August 11th to help educate the public about ways to grow and eat more locally produced food. Tom talked with Kate McCarty, a food preservation program aide, about where you can go to learn how to eat healthy. Kate, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Your local vor tour is coming up pretty soon, but before we get into that, do you want to explain just for people who might not know what the Cooperative Extension Service is, what sure. it does? It's a department of the University of Maine, and we seek to connect the research of the university with the public. So we provide a lot of education in horticulture, agriculture, nutrition, youth development. A lot of people know about the 4-H program mm -hmm. and the Master Gardener program. And then I work in food preservation, so I teach uh, hands-on canning workshops. That's going to be really helpful this year because yeah. we've had a pretty good growing season this year, haven't we? Yeah, it's coming in early. The demand for our classes is, is filling, so... And, and the whole idea of the local vor tour is to visit gardens and people who are creating the food that make, can allow us to be local vores, which yeah. is what? What's the definition of local vor? Well, we say some, that's someone who strives to eat locally. Mm -hmm. So there's different definitions as to what that means as far as a 100-mile radius or a 50-mile radius. But we say just people who focus on Maine food in Maine and, uh, yeah, just are aware of where their food is coming from. So what's the local vor tour all about? What do people can expect? Where do, do they go? So it's a self-guided garden tour of backyard sites all throughout Cumberland County. So it's from, there are sites from Brunswick to Cape Elizabeth out in Wyndham and then a lot around the, the greater Portland area. So at each site there's going to be the homeowner who will take you on little guided tours of their yard, highlight all the different things you might see. Um, we have backyard chickens and bees and um, a lot of edibles, different techniques for growing organic and square foot gardening. And there will also be a master gardener volunteer and a master food preserver volunteer at each site. So topics on gardening and food preservation. And then, of course, food for you to try at each site. <laughs> now, where, how big of a uh, circumference does it cover the tour? How many places can you go? There's 13 sites on the tour. And because it is from Brunswick to Cape Elizabeth and out to Wyndham, you won't be able to get to every site. So we'll provide the information ahead of time as to what each site will highlight. So you'll really need to, to narrow it down and pick the sites that might be the most interesting to you. How do, how do you choose them? Well, it's mostly volunteer because they have to open their gardens for six hours to have people tromp through them. So we draw from the Master Gardener volunteers. And then uh, the planning committee went out and looked at all the sites ahead of time. And, of course, it was a few months ahead of time, so their garden wasn't in full bloom by then. But, you know, what they'd had previously and how accessible the site was. We unfortunately had to turn down a few people in the boonies because we know that they might not have the, the demand that they were expecting. So. Now, you... you um you have a, how many people do you have coming? How many years have you been doing this? This is our fourth year, uh -huh. and we've had three events in four years. And our highest attendance was 350 people. Wow. wow. Yeah. What kind of people come for this? I imagine it would be gardeners themselves who mm -hmm. want more tips and that sort of thing. Yeah, people looking to, to not only just read about the technique, but to really see it in action and talk to the homeowner about what worked, what didn't, looking to incorporate uh, stuff into their own yards to really figure out how you can grow, have chickens in downtown Portland or, or bees on your shed roof and things like that. Yeah, what are, what are some of like, the important considerations of people who want to vote, grow a lot of vegetables for the year living in Maine what, that they face? Yeah, there's a lot of season extension techniques, so how to get the most out of uh, the shoulder seasons. We think just between Memorial and Labor Day, but you know we can really grow on either side for a lot longer than that, so people will be able to get some tips about how to get the most out of your garden in our short growing season. Yeah, it's, it, it does seem like a short growing season, but you can extend it in a lot of ways, right? Yeah, yeah. Do, do people, are there greenhouses? Are there different Yeah, we've forms? got greenhouses, and then that small intensive gardening, so maybe you don't have a lot of space if you're a downtown area, but how to get the most yield out of what you have. And you're into food preservation. Is there going to be yeah. anything on the tour about that? Oh, yeah. Every site will have a food preservation topic and then a food sample featuring a preserved food. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, so there's a lot to, to look forward to. People should bring their notebooks and that yes. sort of thing. To <laughs> Definitely. Figure out what to do. Now, if people want more information about you know, the tour and where to go, what, what can they? Sure. Get? They could call our office. We're 781-6099. And, of course, go online at extension.umaine.edu. Okay. Well, great. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me.